We are now going to go over how to create a landscape material with three channels, grass, sand and rock. You can create much more complex materials using this basic setup by connecting more settings and even parameterizing the textures and such. But for this tutorial, we are just going to go over the basics of a landscape material. Now, let's first go and create a new level, default, and we'll just delete this, uh, the player start, and we'll leave everything else. We'll go into modes, landscape mode. Yeah, we'll create a nice small landscape. I'm putting it on 7 and 7. You can make it as big as you want or as small. I'll make it 7 and 7. Uh, and then just create. Now you can see we have this really boring looking uh, grey thing with these weird black lines. Those black lines are due to the fact that the light is stat uh, stationary or static. So we can't... Uh, so it's because the lighting hasn't been calculated. So I'm just going to put on movable. Uh, so it looks better anyway. Now on Sculpt up here, you can see it's in, there's a Manage, which is where you can uh, use different tools to add bits and delete bits and move bits. Um, we're going to Sculpt, and so this will allow us to change the look. And I'm just going to go to Noise, make the size 2048. I'm going oh yeah, to put the Noise Scale at 84. Then I'm just going to hold Control and I'm just going to Hold control and oh, you can see it. Um, it's just a little bit too strong there, just a little bit. So I'm just going to go to tool strength and I'm going to put it on 0.2. I'm just going to control and click and move my mouse around, create some sort of uh, looking thing. Um, and I'm not going to smooth it. I don't want to smooth it much. To put a little bit of erosion on it though. Put the strength down though, even more. 0.1. A bit of erosion, a bit of hardware erosion. Anyway, so now we've got we've got a we've got a landscape with a bit of with some different variation in height. So now let's go back to Content Browser and let's create a new material. I'm gonna call this landscape shoot. Open it up. Now in this material. The first most important thing that we want to do is you want to right click and you want to type in landscape. You're going to get a landscape layer blend. Now this is what allows you to paint your your landscape with all the different textures uh, that you want. So I'm just going to add three. Call the top one grass. Next one sand. And the last one rock. Now we're going to be making inputs for base color, but also metallic, specular, roughness, and normal. So you can see we're putting a lot of different things in. This will allow us to make some really nice. Uh, this will allow us to have a lot of different looks with it. Um, you can of course add more to these if you wanted other textures as well. But we are just going to use these three for now. So I'm just going to go texture, if I can spell it right, texture sample here. Drag it up. I'm going to make this grass D. Put it in there. Next one is sand. Now I got the sand. I imported the sand texture myself. It doesn't come with the starter content. And by the way, I'm using Control W to duplicate this where my mouse is. And this one is basalt. And now we don't need we don't need this for uh, metallic specular roughness, but um, you could use you could use textures with it, of course, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to make these the normal versions of it. And then plug these also into here. And then for these ones, I'm just going to make a bunch of uh, one vectors or floats by holding down one and clicking. And so for grass, I don't want it to be metallic at all. Uh, sand, no metallic. And rock, I don't want any metallic. Just going to select all these and duplicate them down here. 
uh, specular. Let's say I want I want grass to be a little bit, so I'm going to put on 0 0.2. Sand, uh, it'll be near water, so I might want to make it 0 0.5. And rock, maybe it's been maybe it, there's been a little bit of water, so I'm going to put it on 0 0.3. There is get these and duplicate them again down here for the roughness. Now this would obviously be used to control the specular. Uh, but we don't really want to do that. So we don't really want um, any of these to be anything except zero. But obviously if you are wanting to uh, make some parts of them look rough, then you could do that, but I'm not going to. Um, and so that's all we need. So just save it, and that will automatically apply it. Now, one thing you should look at is down here. If you scroll down, you can see usage. You can see all these different things we can use. Um, use the landscape. We are going to use it with landscape now. If we applied this to a landscape, it would automatically tick that and have to recompile. But if we just do that here, and save, then it will it will stop it from having to do that step. And now it knows that these are all going to be used for a landscape. Now I can exit that. Now we want to put it back on that mode. We want to select the landscape and then we want to get our material and we want to apply it. Now you can see it's going to compile the shaders because it has to, uh, because they weren't compiled completely when we were making them. And once it compiles, you'll see that it doesn't look, it won't look. Right, it won't have grass or any of the things on it. It just becomes black. Now, there's nothing that we've done wrong here. It's just something that we haven't done yet. The thing we haven't done yet is that if we click on the landscape and go back to modes, back to landscape, paint. See, it has target layers. It doesn't have any target layers here. That's because these need to have a layer info to be able to work with the landscape blend. So we want to create a weight blended layer. I'll just put it in tutorial series and do the same thing here in tutorial series and then oh there it is it's not uh, selecting for some reason it, sh it will work in a second okay whoops I dragged, dragged it out now you can see we have all our things and now it's compiling the shaders So just wait for it to finish compiling before we do anything else. Okay, you can see it hasn't changed the look at all. But if we hold down control, look at that. Hold down control, and all of a sudden, we start getting our texture. Now you can see because of the specular, it looks a bit weird. It looks a bit uh, looks like it's been raining a ridiculous amount. But we can of course change that. But first, I'm just going to show the other ones. We also have sand. Uh, I'll have to recompile for sand. Because uh, it has to compile the shaders specifically for sand. And we'll have, have to do the same for rock as well. But once it loads, you won't be able to see much because I have the tool strength on 0.1, so it won't look very different. But there will be a lot of sand, and I can obviously turn it up to show you better. So if I turn the tool strength up to 1, and I'm just going to make the size a bit smaller. Hold down control. See, so look at that. We get, turn up, put it on game mode, we have some sand. You can see the sand also looks really weird, but if this if this sand was near water, then it wouldn't look so weird. Although this grass is quite ridiculous, <laughs> just like lens flares everywhere. I'll just do some rock as well, and let it recompile. There you go, look, we've got some rock there. Now, of course, this this rock doesn't look uh, fantastic, but you can use uh, height maps and other such things to make it look better. But, uh, yeah, it's it's pretty ridiculous the spec we've got on here, so I'm going to go back into our material and make it look a bit less ridiculous. So, where is it? Landscape tutorial. Now, for the specular... I do not want grass to be to have any specular. Whoops. Oh. 
I'm just going to put that on zero. I'm going to put sand on zero, and I'm going to put rock on zero. Now, once it finishes compiling and saving, I will get back to you once it finishes compiling. Okay, we're back. It finished compiling. Now you can see that there is no specular. And you can see it does look like sand. Uh, you can also see that if we just uh, get a nice skylight in here, make things look a bit less weird. Turn up the brightness of that. It's perfectly white. Let's make it a bit more yellow. And put the skylight on visible. You can see that it uh, it looks a lot more realistic. You can see we have all the we have the normal maps and we have it. It just looks. Well, I mean, it looks like a like a landscape. You can of course again make it much more complex. Uh, uh, you can do what you want. Make it look how you want. Maybe you wanna you wanna put some uh, sand. Like game mode. Put some sand along here. Maybe maybe there's a maybe you have a, like a little. Maybe you have a little. Uh, so it has to compile those parts. Maybe you have a little lake here or something. Then uh, we could just get uh, we could just go to shapes. Get a plane. Scale it up. There we go. Then I believe that there is a water. Yep. And of course, you can make a better looking water material, but uh, I mean, you have a lake and you have the sand near it, and and you can you can do whatever you want. That that does not look very good, does it all? Neither does that. This is why you create your own materials. Some of the some of the default ones are nice, some of them are not at all. Um, but yeah, so that concludes this tutorial. Stay tuned for some more complex tutorials, but if you want to learn more about UE4, then please join me next time.